Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul for you because I have accumulated a ton of makeup recently so I figured that I would haul it for you guys. I have like a big broad range and mixture of products. I have a lot of drugstore stuff like from CVS and then a ton of stuff from Sephora as well so we just go mix it all up and do a high end and drugstore haul in one if you guys don't mind but yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and get started. So first we can start with the drugstore I got a ton of lippies I was just on a lippy craze so the first thing that I tried is this L'Oreal infallible pro matte gloss I got two of them I was just really intrigued because it says matte but then it also says gloss so I was like hmm so I don't know I was very intrigued by these I really love this little like neutral color this one is in the color bear attraction and then I also got kind of a red color because I thought this would be nice for the holidays this one is in the color Shanghai scarlet so I'm excited to see how these hold up I tend to not always love drugstore matte lipsticks because I find them to be very drying but hopefully these will be good because I actually saw a review on these and the person was saying that they're really nice so hopefully I will like them as well. Then I also picked up two of L'Oreal's little lippy sticks. I've tried these before and absolutely love them. I got one of their Lay Mattes and one of their Lay Lacs. The Lay Lac is in the color, I love this, it's like a mauve color. It is the color Charm, so really, really like this. And then this purple color I got in the matte, and this is called Matter of Fact. That's so cute, like it's like matte or a fact. Like, I don't know, I thought that was cute. So those are the two lippy sticks that I got. Then I did pick up two Wet n Wild lipsticks. You guys know that I love Wet n Wild lipsticks because they are so inexpensive and they're really highly pigmented. So I got two from their matte line and the one that I got is in the color Smokin' Hot Pink. This is like a dusty rose type color and then I got a bright one in Coraline. Coraline, I think is what it's called. It's like a bright coral. I know you guys are probably like, Kelly, it's not the summer. Why are you getting coral lippies? I don't know. I just thought it was beautiful, so I had to have it. And Wet n Wild lipsticks are like so inexpensive, so I was just like, whatever, throw in the car. I actually went to the drugstore in search of one specific lippy, and I did find it, and I really wanted a bright red lip. Like, I wanted that, like, red that's kind of red, but it's so bright that it's almost maybe orange, and I found it. This was in, this is part of the L'Oreal, the exclusive collection, the one that's, like, the black with the gold. I'm not sure, like, what collection this is. I think, like, celebrities, like, formulated them or something. I'm not really sure, but I got this in the color Dutzen's Red. I'm probably totally butchering that. I'll have it linked down below as long as I can find it, but it's a really beautiful bright red, exactly what I was looking for, because I feel like most of my reds are just like classic reds, like that fire engine red, or they're more like deeper. I don't have something like super bright like this, so that's what I wanted. Then I picked up two of these new lippies from L'Oreal, or at least they're new to me, but I'm kind of bummed because it does not say anywhere on the packaging what these are called, so I can't like say like what they're called, but they're basically like dual-ended. So this one end here has like a lip gloss or liquid lipstick type of deal, and then the other end over here has a little balm. So I thought this was really, really cute because my lips get so dry in the winter, so I'm always putting on lip balm before I go ahead and apply lipstick, lip gloss, literally anything to my lips. So I thought it was cute that this kind of had both in one. Um, I really wish it said what it's called, but it doesn't. So I will try and find it online. I will put everything linked down below. But the two colors that I got are in the color Passionate Petal, so it's kind of like a dusty pink. And then I got this like vibrant purple one. This is in the color Lilac Infinite. I really liked this as well, something a little bit different. Then I picked up three of these little coal eyeliner pencils from Wet n Wild. These are super expensive. They're only 99 cents. They're really not that amazing, but I was low on some of them, so I just got a brown one, a black one, and this bright blue one. Then on a recommendation from you guys, I tried out this L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper Brow Gel. I haven't tried it out yet, but I bought it. Um, I got it in the color Transparent, which I guess is like their version of Translucent. It's just clear. I know they do make tinted ones, but the CVS that I was at didn't have any tinted ones. They just had this one. So I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. It's just like a clear brow gel, but this is on recommendation from you guys of something that I should try. So I wanted to give it a try. Then when I went over there to look at the brow gel, I saw that L'Oreal had a new mask out so I was like oh, give it to me it is called the voluminous superstar mascara and this is a dual ended mascara so the top part has a white serum that you apply to your lashes and then you have the mascara in the bottom part I used to have a mascara like this from L'Oreal like way back in the day that I loved it was like my go-to holy grail mascara so I was really intrigued by this and wanted to give it a try I forget what the one I used to use was called but it was like red and white 
um, like the packaging and it was from L'Oreal but I really really liked it so I wanted to give this a try and see how I liked it and I love L'Oreal mascaras I'm just a drugstore mascara girl I don't know like I love my high-end makeup you guys know that Sephora, Ulta, anything but when it comes to mascara I'm a drugstore girl I really am and then I also picked up another mascara. This one I got at Walmart. This is from the brand Flower. I have never tried anything from them before. I'm pretty sure they only sell their stuff at Walmart. But someone recommended me this mascara. This is called, what kind of mascara is this called? I guess they're Zoom In Mascara. And someone recommended this for my lower lashes. They thought that I would like it. So I went ahead and tried it. But yeah, I don't know if you can get this anywhere besides Walmart, like this brand. Let me know down below if you know where you can get Flower. I don't think you can get it at Target. I don't know, but... I'm excited to give this a try. This is waterproof, so I get a little bit scared of waterproof mascaras because sometimes they'll like never come off, but I'm excited to see how this works. And then I also picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Power Eyeliner Pen. I got this in brown, brown smoke. So this is like a smoke out pen. So you can kind of like put it on your lashes or on your lids and kind of just smoke it out. So I thought that was really cool. I saw someone use this in a drawer and I was like, oh, I need it. So I threw it in the bag as usual. And the last thing that I got from the drugstore is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I have the bronze version of this and really, really liked it, so I wanted to get another one. So I got it in the color Ice Glaze, I think is what this is called. I have the bronze one, love that. And they also make a rose toned one, but I have enough redness in my skin already, so I just wanted to try this one out. And it's a really, really beautiful highlight color. It is a liquid, but I like to mix this in with my foundation and it really gives a beautiful glow to the skin. Okay, now on to Sephora. The first thing that I got is this eyeshadow um, primer potion from Urban Decay. This is like their little travel size. This was in the, you know, those little things at Sephora when you go to the cash wrap and they have like those little bins filled with stuff and I always buy at least something from there. I think this trip I bought two things from there. Like, it kills me. Sephora needs to get rid of that because I just always buy stuff from there. But I thought this was cute, a little travel size version for when I'm traveling rather than having to bring the big one, even though the big one isn't even that big. So I literally don't know why I got this, but I got it in case I need it. So I got some eyeshadow primer potion. And then I also did pick up two Urban Decay eyeshadows. I already took these out of the packaging because I actually filmed this haul before and was completely out of focus the whole video. So I'm re-filming it now, but I got two of the Urban Decay eyeshadows. I got one little highlight color in the color Polyester Bride. And then I also got this dark dark kind of gunmetal charcoal color in the color gunmetal. The next thing I got was a backup of my Laura Mercier Foundation Radiance Primer. You guys know I love this. Laura Mercier makes a multitude of foundation primers, but by far my favorite is the Radiance one. I've used this in so many of my tutorials, so I picked up a backup of that. And then I also picked up a new product from her, actually two new other products from Laura Mercier, the Loose Setting Powder. This is just a translucent setting powder from her. I've heard really great things about this, and you guys know I've recently gotten back into loose setting powders. I didn't use them for a long time, but I've really been liking the baking method recently recently and a lot of people really love this on YouTube especially so I figured that I had to give it a try. And then I also picked up from her her Flawless Contouring Palette. I don't know if this is new or just new for me but I had not seen this and when I saw it I was like oh, I need it because it is a cream contouring palette and I really don't have a cream contouring palette that I love so I saw this one and was like I gotta try it. It's really really sleek, nice packaging and then on the inside it comes with five shades. You get a light kind of yellow highlight here then a shimmery bronze bronzy highlight and then three contour colors and I love how they give you a nice light contour like with a really big pan because I find a lot of times with cream contours my problem is that I find that they're hard to blend out because they're too dark and I just can't make it look natural. I think I find sometimes they're just like way too dark so I really liked that this one had a lighter contour shade in it and it has like a little mirror in here and then you can pull out these little tabs and it has like shows you like how to contour, like how to highlight, like there's a bunch of little tabs with tips and tricks and stuff. So I thought that was really cute like for someone who might not know how to use something like this because let's be honest, we all don't know how to use like a cream contour. Like I'm gonna have to look up videos too because I feel like my cream contour skills are really low because I always use powder. So I thought that was a really cute little added touch to that. Then I picked up a couple of skincare things. The first thing I got is this Bliss Fabulous Makeup Melt. This is the gel to oil cleanser. I love oil cleansers when I really need to get my makeup off. Like a day like today where I like cake, cake, cake on that makeup, like lash glue, waterproof mascara, stuff like that, an oil 
like makeup remover product works amazing. I have another one from Mirad that I use all the time, but I saw this one, so I wanted to check it out and see how I liked it. I liked that it was gel to oil, so it's not just like straight oil that you have to put on your eyes. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm excited to see how this works. And then I also picked up from them a little travel size. This is the other thing that the travel size little aisle thing got me. Um, this is the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Face Wash. This is their two-in-one cleanser and exfoliator. So I liked that it was like two-in-one because I really need to exfoliate my skin because I have very dry skin. So I like that this was like a cleanser and exfoliator in one so I don't have to do the two steps. So I just got the travel size and if I like it, I'll probably just go back and get the full size version. Then I picked up this Kadali Vino Source SOS Serum. I've heard really great things about this for dry skin so you know your girl had to try it out. It comes like in really luxurious packaging. I think it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it. It says it's a thirst quenching serum, which I need with my skin. So excited to see how this works for me. And then I also picked up a moisturizer. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair Precious Cream. That is a mouthful, but I thought this looked like really pretty. Like the packaging, like I obviously didn't just buy it because of the packaging. I actually saw someone talking about it, but I thought the packaging was like really pretty as well. Um, let's see if it smells like roses because it says something about roses. Oh my god, the cream is pink. I love it. No, it just smells like regular moisturizer, <laughs> but it's okay because it's pink, so that's cute, and hopefully it will work for me, but um, I forget if I saw someone talking about this or someone recommended it to me, but I heard this was good for dry skin, so hopefully it works. And then last but not least, I actually think I picked this up at Ulta, not at Sephora, but this is the Laura Geller Spackle Tint Bronze. This is a makeup primer. Laura Geller makes a bunch of, like, spackle. Like, she has them for, like, more than just the face. Like, I know I've tried her lip spackle before. Um, I think her, like, primer products are really, really great. So I got this one. This is in the bronze shade, so it's going to give a nice little bronzy hue to my skin. You just put this on before your foundation just as a primer. Um, so I'm excited to see this because I don't know if I've ever tried, like, a tinted one. I think I just tried her, like, regular clear primer so I'm excited to see how this works for me I think it's a really pretty like glowy bronzy color so this will probably be better in like the summer but I probably need it now because I'm gonna just keep getting paler and paler so this will make me look nice and bronze but yeah that is everything that I got in my haul I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos and I will see you guys very soon bye